How to lose weight fast without exercise for teenagers at top 10 list. Most teens feel self-conscious about their bodies, especially if you can afford to shed a few pounds. The secret to losing weight quickly and safely is not really a secret. You just must eat fewer calories than you burn each day and do consistent exercise, even if it's just a brisk walk. These aren't hard things to do on their own but they are hard to do consistently. Whenever you get discouraged, remember that millions of people just like you have been in this position. Stay in it for the long haul and you'll eventually lose the weight you want to. These are the top picks for lose weight without exercising. Number one, changing your diet. Start with your diet. If you want quick results, you'll probably need to change your eating habits to reflect a healthier diet. However, this does not mean that you should starve yourself. Starving yourself causes your metabolism the process by which your body burns fat to slow down dramatically so that it can store up energy. You won't lose weight, and you might even gain it. It is important to remember that your body is changing as a result of hormone fluctuations. It is natural to experience some weight fluctuation as well. It is best to follow a consistent, healthy diet every day to ensure that your body can ride the hormonal wave. Work to maintain a health-based mindset to avoid developing an eating disorder. Anorexia and bulimia are very serious conditions that need treatment. If you think you might have an eating disorder, tell someone you trust and seek help immediately. No amount of weight loss is worth jeopardizing your health. Number two, understand the food pyramid. Knowing how many servings of different types of food you should eat in a day is essential for healthy weight loss. Try to eat and drink the following, a glass of water at meals. This is a healthier choice than sugary soft drinks and artificial juice. Try adding a few slices of lemon to your water. It will get rid of the toxins in your body. Drink as much water as you can as often as you can. A minimum of three servings of fruit daily. A minimum of four servings of vegetables daily. Three, seven servings of protein meat, fish, etc. And dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt daily. Three, five servings of healthy fats, nuts, peanut butter, avocado, etc. daily. Eat simple carbohydrates, refined and processed products including muffins, cakes, cereals, white bread, white pasta sparingly. Eating carbohydrates from artificial sugars and refined carbs will leave you bloated. Choose complex carbohydrates such as whole grains, sweet potatoes, yams, whole rice, and couscous instead. Number 3. Make menus for yourself. Know what foods you need not to eat and make healthy menus for yourself. Here are some suggestions on what you should eat. Breakfast ideas. Toast with your favorite spread. Bananas are high in potassium. Try cereal with skim milk and fruit. Lunch ideas. It's best to bring your lunch from home. School food can be unhealthy and you probably know what there is to eat. Try a sandwich on whole grain, whole wheat, multi-grain bread with lean chicken, ham, or a butter-fried egg using butter to fry egg instead of oil. Don't use white bread. It's made from bleached flour, and it contains very few nutrients. Add a salad with veggies, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, etc., a glass of milk, and veggie snacks like carrot sticks and celery. Snack ideas, veggies and fruit, natural yogurt and berries, a handful of nuts, veggies like carrots, beans, snow peas and low fat tip. Do not buy yogurt coated or chocolate coated raisins or nuts. Most of these are full of added sugar. Dinner ideas, one ideas, one slash two veggies, one slash four protein, 1 slash 4 carbohydrates. If your parents make fatty foods for dinner, only have a little, then make yourself a salad on the side. If you're cooking for yourself, make brown rice eating more lean meat than part carbohydrates helps. Scrambled eggs, 
Make yourself a sandwich, or eat some fish it's high in omega-3, which is good for your brain. Number four, follow the basic rules of healthy eating. Eat three meals a day and two snacks in between. For each meal, make the veggies the largest portion, then the protein, then the carbohydrates. Feel free to include dairy with any meal. Breakfast, carbohydrates, fruit, protein. Lunch, veggies, protein. Dinner, protein, veggies carbohydrates, snacks, fruit, veggies, protein. Number five, drink lots of water. Try to refrain from drinking anything but water and unsweetened tea. Water is the best liquid for keeping you hydrated. It helps your body burn fat, and it may even help keep your skin clear and sit free. As an added bonus, drinking only water means that you won't drink any sugar water or energy drinks which can contain up to 800 calories per drink. Just think, almost half your daily calories in one drink. Water is healthy, it tastes good, and it's an essential part of keeping you trim. If you find yourself consistently hungry after every meal, try drinking a big glass of water or green tea. Unsweet before you eat. It'll help fill you up and it doesn't contain any extra calories. To burn more calories, drink ice cold water. Your body will spend more energy warming it up. A glass of cold water also feels refreshing after lots of exercise. Number six, eat everything in moderation. Consider toning down your consumption, but not cutting anything out completely. Eat things like red meats once a week or once a month you'll enjoy them more anyway as exceptions try to cut out fast food sweets chocolate candy chips soda etc and other junk food soft drinks burgers ice cream etc avoid the strategy of allowing yourself one cheat day per week as this can lead to one day of binging Try setting one day each week when you can have a small treat after dinner. If this is too difficult for you, then start with a small treat after dinner every day and slowly switch to one day. Although you can have it at any time of the day, it's better to have it after dinner because you can look forward to it all day. Fast food and sweets are highly processed, fatty, and unhealthy. McDonald's soft serves are made from pig fat, KFC fries are fried in lard, and thick shakes contain almost no natural ingredients. It's all preservatives and additives. Know what is good for you and what isn't. Number 7. Eat plenty of plant-based foods. This might include fruits, vegetables, beans, legumes, and grains. Base your diet around staples like rice, oatmeal, couscous, quinoa, yellow potatoes, and sweet potatoes. It may sound bizarre to be consuming white rice and potatoes, but these foods do not make you fat. Eat until you are satisfied, but not until you are stuffed. Do not restrict or starve yourself. Number 8. Do not go on a low-calorie diet. These diet fads contribute to eating disorders and weight gain. As a teen, you are still growing. You need the calorie intake that's appropriate for your age slash height slash weight. For example, an active young woman should aim for no fewer than 2,000 calories a day. These low-calorie 1,000 to 1,400 calorie diet plans are often 3-day, 7-day, 10-day, or 2-week plans because they do not work long-term. You want weight loss that is maintainable not just a quick fix. Under strict doctor supervision and recommendation, inquire about how many calories you should be consuming for healthy steady weight loss for your weight, height, age, gender, and activity level. Number 9. Balance fats, carbohydrates, and protein. If you eat too much protein, your body turns the excess protein into glucose, which is what you were trying to avoid in carbs in the first place. On the other hand, 
fats have no effect on blood sugar and insulin levels. Limit the amount of fat that you eat to between 35 and 60 grams per day. This means that fat should make up 20% to 35% of your entire calorie intake for the day. Each day, aim to eat about 200 to 350 grams, 7 to 10 hours of complex carbohydrates, whole grains, vegetables, and fruits. This should make up 60% to 70% of your entire calorie intake for the day. Aim to eat about 55 to 95 grams, 2 to 3 hours of low-fat protein, which includes beans, legumes, nuts and seeds. This should account for about 15% to 25% of your total calorie intake for the day. Did you know that one cup of oatmeal contains 12 grams of protein? Think outside the box and don't just assume that meat, eggs, and fish are the only ways to get protein. Number 10. Cut out the sugars. No hard slash chewy candies or chocolates or pastries slash cookies. Fitness will pay off in the long run. Indeed, it will actually make you feel much more satisfied than eating the bad fatty slash sugary foods. Throw away junk foods such as candy, chips, and pop. You will be less tempted to eat it if you don't have it in your house. Leave up little inspirations around your house, such as your workout room or kitchen to remind you of your goals and to motivate you. Make a list of things you can do when you feel like eating but you shouldn't because you're really not hungry. Try exercising, or solving puzzles, or practicing a skill. To change up your exercise routine, take dance classes, or teach yourself with the help of the internet for at least an hour three days a week. Get good at saying no when people offer you food that will sabotage your diet. Think of saying no as a healthier lifestyle choice that should inspire you to take care of your body. Feed it only when needed. If you can handle it, try to eat everything in moderation. Allow yourself to have a cookie every now and then for dessert. It's not the end of the world if you eat sugary slash fatty foods every now and then. Listen to your body. It can tell you what it needs, when you're full, and when it wants you to stop packing in junk. If you're thirsty, drink water. If you're hungry, eat a small snack. Don't eat out of habit, or boredom, or you'll gain weight. Eat three slim meals and two slim snacks a day to keep your metabolism in fat-burning mode. Even better. Eat five small meals. These are the top 10 ideas on how to lose weight fast without exercise for teenagers. If you enjoy the video so far, please consider liking the video and subscribe to my channel. I will catch you guys in soon with another interesting episode. Stay safe and healthier.